The street was closed for several hours with Israel supporters packed shoulder to shoulder listening to a number of speakers. We're standing in the, the heart of the Jewish community of Queens in the Kew Gardens neighborhood, and this rally really was part anger and part grieving. Hundreds of members of the Jewish community flooded Main Street in Kew Gardens in a show of support for Israel following the terrorist attack that has triggered a war with Hamas. The hostages, the babies, the elderly people, this is something I think that nobody has seen or known about since the Holocaust. The event was hosted by Queensboro President Donovan Richards. And we are clear here in Queens and in New York City that Israel will and will always have the right to exist and we will fight to make sure we preserve that. Many Queens elected leaders, including members of Congress, were present as well. Congressman Gregory Meeks, the ranking Democratic member of the House Foreign Relations Committee, pledged the full support of the American government to Israel. There is a responsibility that we all have to stamp this out collectively. Hamas cannot continue. But the rally was clearly more than just a show of support. It was pushing back against pro-Palestinian rallies, including one Sunday in Times Square that was nakedly anti-Semitic. Cheering the rape, murder, and kidnapping of innocent civilians, from children to grandparents, to people holding up swastika images. Is despicable. That's un-American. That's not who we are. We're better than that. You are not fighting for liberation by murdering and kidnapping. Those things do not lead to peace.